Hello everyone. My name is Franklin Avangana. Welcome to my online tutorials, where I give you the insight on emerging technological issues affecting matters in education. Subscribe to my channel, so that you don't miss out on my upcoming tutorials. Subscription is free, you won't be charged anything instead, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Welcome, and keep on learning. Hello, today I'm going to show you how to move or transfer learners through the CBA NEG portal. Now I've already logged into my NEG system. I believe you already know how to log into the NEG portal if you have been using this website for a while. So I'm already on the pathways. You can see on my screen I have two pathways. We have the age-based pathway and the stage-based pathway. Now this one is for the regular classes. This one is for the special needs uh, classes, the foundation and intermediate respectively. And here we have grade 3 to grade 5. So I'm going to demonstrate on how we can transfer or move the learner through this system. Welcome. Now once you are here, select the class you want to transfer the learner to or from. So I'll click on proceed. The following dashboard will appear. Now we have this notification area where you will see all the requested transfers from various schools. If at all learners have requested transfers to come to your school, you will see them here for the notifications. So you can simply click there and effect transfers in this section. So all the learners who have requested transfer to your school will be displayed here. We'll have a list here where you can now accept those transfers. So currently, I don't have any. So I'll go straight away to demonstrate on how you can evoke a transfer. Maybe a learner has come from a neighboring school and wants to be admitted to your school. So you move to register learners. And once you are there, you'll see this blue tab. So you'll click on add learner from another school or transfer. Have these two search boxes. The first one we use the learner's assessment number and then you hit find. So the learner should come with assessment number from the former school and if the learner doesn't have the assessment number then they should provide the school code of that particular school. So once you have the school code you can key it in here and then we'll view the list of the learners, all the learners from that school. And that is what I'm going to demonstrate. So in this section, I'll key in the school code the learners come from, and then I'm going to hit the view tab. Now, the list of the learners from that school will be displayed. Remember this note, my school, it is the school from which the learner has come from. Now, I'll simply scroll through the list until I get the learner who wants to be transferred. Let me assume it's this learner. So I'll simply copy the assessment number. Once I've copied the assessment number, I'm going to paste it in that search box. And then I'll hit the find button. So you can see the learner is there. Once you have the learner, come to this tab and hit transfer. So the story does not end there because if they allow it, it means that we shall mess up with the transfers. There is a restriction in that the school 
should actually accept the transfer. Once you have done that, notify the school from which the learners come from so that they can facilitate or rather effect the transfer from their end. So once you hit transfer, it does not mean that you have actually transferred the learner. The school should accept that transfer. Because if I do that for this particular learner, it means I shall have messed up with that learner and yet the learner has not requested for a transfer, which I think that is a, a good uh, security future NEC has put in this uh, new system. I've switched to another class that is grade 4. You can click on this green tab to select another grade. That's what, what I've just done. Now as I've seen, on the notification area, you will see the number of requests on this tab or at the top here. You will see the number of transfer requests. So you can click here or just come and click on that tab. Click there. Good. Now you will see the details of the learner, the school requesting for transfer, that the school code, the school name, the name of the head teacher and the mobile phone number. Of course these details you will key them in during a transfer request. After that you come to this section and hit accept the transfer. Are you sure you want to accept this transfer? Click on OK. So you can see learner transferred my list is empty. When I go back We'll find that that notification is no longer there. We have zero requests for transfer. So the next step, I'll show you how to move a learner. And to move a learner, just go to this tab, Progression of Learners. Now, under Progression of Learners, these are learners in your school. We know that learners can move to different pathways basing on their progress. So we are moving learners either to the stage-based or to the age-based pathway. So we know that under stage-based pathway, that's where learners are supposed to be assisted. If you identify gaps in learners' progress, maybe you can actually uh, take the learner to the stage based so that the learner can be assist, uh, assisted in that particular area. Once you see that the progress is improving, you can now actually transfer the learner now to the age based pathway, which is the regular uh, pathway for the learners. Now I'm going to demonstrate that. So once you are on this uh, dashboard, you can search the learner using the name this search box or scroll through the list until you get the learner. Assume this is the learner. So I'll move to the action column and then we have this drop down where you need to select the grade or the level. So assume you want to move the learner to the foundation level or intermediate level. So select the level. Once you've selected the level, then hit the move. So the learner will be moved to that level. So you can do this the other way around. You can log in to the intermediate or rather to the foundation level and then transfer or rather move the learner now to the regular pathway or the age-based pathway. So thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to support my channel. Bye and see you next. I hope you have learned something from this tutorial, if so, give this video a big thumbs up, comment, and share. Above all, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell on, so that you don't miss out on my upcoming uploads. Thank you for watching. See you then.